Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to Silent Fails God of War Guided video walkthrough. <laughs> um, so we just met up with Brock, upgraded our axe, Leviathan axe in the last video, along with our armor and a little thing for Atreus, I think. So um, we are supposed to be heading off this way, I believe, but before we do that, we're going to go off to the right here. Because remember, there's always these little side areas. We're going to jump off this little ledge, and oh, right next to this... I didn't even see this here. Exactly, yeah. Right next to this guy will be uh, artifact number two for the Faces of Magic. So we have two out of nine masks found. Now let's head back to the shop, because I believe that should be it around in this little dead-end area. And around here, uh, there should be... Yeah, this like plank held by this chain. So what you want to do is kind of aim, fire at that to knock it down, and then just hop on down as well. And then you'll see another chain that goes down here. Oh, with the chest. So let's get this first. Soft silver, thin steel. And here will be our second Eye of Odin. You probably heard this uh, earlier when we were down in this area, but we couldn't see it, and I told you we'd have to wait to get it, so, yep, we were able to get that now, so go ahead and get on this chain, hop on down. You left me to fight alone. I did. People are one thing, everything else you fight, until I say stop or we are dead, understand? Pull your weight or we go home. I understand. Good then. Okay, so go into the chest here, or coffin. Yeah, it's, it's a coffin. These are coffins. I mean, bones in there, so coffins. To get soft steel, and here is another thing. You know, I'll probably leave it, because I'm still, like, fully maxed on the uh, rage meter. And we can open this gate, though, because this will help create a shortcut. Wait, we're back here again. Exactly. See, so we get, instead of having to go all the way around, we can just now go through here and climb up if needed. So let's go ahead and head on back, and now we're gonna finally head back to the main path. Let's go, come on, there we go. Up, and over, and now when you have everything collected, go ahead and head over here and we will continue on with the story. So, down, just like that. Get your axe. Look hey, watch your hinds in there. That place can bust you up real good. Uh. Awesome. Okay, so kind of updated on the uh, quest there. So just continue towards the mountain. So what we have to, and this chain is just to open this gate back up if you need it. But for now, we really don't need to do that. So we're just going to head through this. Crawl through the bones to the other side. And we want to be careful with this spike trap. I think we can go through here. Yep, so just toss your axe at the wooden door. Don't worry, they won't close back. But you do need to do this in order to make them open. This second one, you need to do it a couple times. And you'll head into this area now. And there's going to be another battle coming up, so just be ready for that. But first, break some pots. Uh... There you go. And there will be some health there. Leave it there for now. And you'll see through this hole there is another, like, coffin chest thing. So you'll see the opening on this door. What you have to do is just hit it one more time, you know, for the third time. And it'll open up all the way. And you can just head in to the other side. Open the coffin. Yeah, I believe it's some soft steel. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Soft steel acquired. One. All right, so next is this kind of little puzzle thing, but like I said, we are going to be having a battle here pretty soon. So just got to keep doing that until it's blocked all the way. And then use that to freeze it in place. When we get to the other side, right the enemies will start appearing. Yeah, you don't want to be stuck there when it comes down. See, you, you just leave it going down. There we go. <laughs> See, that works. You could just do that over and over again if you want. But don't worry, that's not the last of them, though. There's going to be more that we have to work at taking out. 
Yeah, nope. There we go. Alright, so let's head back to, to this side, pick up a little more health. There it is, there it is. Awesome. Okay. Yep, leave that jugger over there, head back to this side, take these guys out. Okay, uh, nope. Killed you, right? Yep, awesome. So that one died, and the one over here should have gotten smashed, absolutely. Because I guess they cannot jump over gaps, so that's a good little strategy to do it if you'd like. There we go. And let me just do it one more time, because I think we have one more to go. One more wave of enemies in this area. Uh, let's see. I probably should get some health over here, right? Yep. One more. Yep. Heavy Jogger. So let's just go ahead and head back. Take this thing out. <laughs> yeah, he's going to try to hit us from over there, but not going to really work out. Nope, not really. And that's it. Okay, he should be the last guy that we'd have to take care of now. So, up oh, new new tip in the beast area has been updated. So, wonder, can we check that out? Nope, missed it. So, oh armor, okay. So, let's see. It says okay. Okay, enchantments. Yep, some armors can have up to three enchantment sockets. Press square to select socket and unequipped armor. So go to sockets. Go to empty socket. Do that. Oh, so you have the symbol of. Perseverance. Select an enchantment and press X to equip it in the armor socket. Absolutely. See, that gives me a little more... What is it? I didn't even see. I think it was defense or something. A couple of defense. there. I thought it was like around there. Perfect. So we have that. What's this? Reaver's tunic. It just shows like, hey, you know, it's in my inventory now. This is the original that I had. So, yep. So I don't really need that. Um, it unlocks these skills. I can upgrade these up here if I need to. But like I said, what I kind of like to... No, wrong one. What I like to do, though, is really work on Atreus. And you see, we upgraded his bow, I guess. So that unlocks the level 2 of this stuff. Um, this is a hidden skill. So we have to continue through the journey to reveal the skill. But what I want to do here is purchase this one. Because like I said, with Atreus, he will be able to help out quite a bit. Uh, we'll help Chris and... When certain enemies in certain vulnerable states or when Chris is attacked, so yes, get that. So that's going to help out quite a bit. I think that used up everything, though. Can't upgrade anything else. Nope. Awesome. All right, so that is it. Now over here, you see there is this chest. So let's get some more splinters. Open it up for hack silver. Yep. And you'll notice this little turn thing here. All it is is the exact same mechanism for this roof here. Now you'll notice that you really don't have a way out except, and there's that uh, room chest up there, uh, but we really cannot get up this way because of all these spikes, but there is this door here with another wooden bit to it that we have to open. So what we got to do is kind of be quick about this. Make sure this is lifted all the way back up and then Quickly try to get this going. It's gonna take a few tries. Yep. Get on out and over here. Hopefully, our trace will be able to make it. Yes, absolutely. Good pot. Nothing there. Now, let's just wait till this goes down because now we're gonna get onto the roof of this thing. And as soon as it sure goes down, there. trust I will did. not let us die. Absolutely. All right, so I don't need health, but it's fine. So here is that rune chest, and this is where we got to go to get the rune. So here's the first one, which is the inn, I guess. This next one, hop up, which is kind of like a C almost. Yep, one more. But go to the edge here, into the crate to get some more hack silver. Now. Do not jump down because you can see this takes you back around to the beginning of it. Again, it's like a shortcut thing, but we don't need to do that now. The other one is, as you can see over here, kind of going behind this wooden beam. 
the only way to get it is to <laughs> lift ourselves back up and quickly take that out. There we go. And then you can't open this up until this thing completely stops. There we go. So let's open this up and we will get our first Horn of Blood Mead. So one of three, or well, yeah, one of three, and they'll increase your maximum rage. You know, the rage meter, <laughs> Spartan rage. So uh, Blood Mead is a rare drink that makes one's rage run deeper. Find the nine total horns in the world in chests locked by magic. Every three you collect will increase your maximum rage. So, you know, every three, so nine, three times three, nine, as usual. Same thing as the uh, health bar, right? Uh, you know, like I said, I hate leaving stuff there, so I'm just going to go ahead and get that. And I think that should be it. So once that is done, go ahead and hop back this over. Way. And just collect this little thing right here. I think is, yep, yeah, faces magic, three out of nine. There we go. Let's just check this out real quick. Can I show you? Yep. We found the scary mask in the dangerous part of the river pass, blah, blah, blah. So, yep, there's three, and we have five more. Or six more. Yeah, I can count. <laughs> six more. All right. Uh, so, go ahead and head on up. Wow. Never been this close to the mountain before. Looks so big. I wish mom was here to see it. So, before heading off there, make a left over here to this little dead-end path, and you'll see another, like, Ooh, skeleton guy with our fourth uh, mask. <laughs> Two in a row. Awesome. Uh, so, after that, we're going to go off over here and do a new hey, little, uh, yep, door puzzle. What is it? Boy. Look, so what you... there are rooms written along the side. So, yes, what have a trace say? read them. As we are, we too... We three. As I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. Maybe there's a clue around here. Yep. So, what we gotta do after that is go ahead and collect those. I think it's just more hack silver. Yep. Then head up. Up and up. Seems like maybe those rings should be turning. Absolutely. Press circle here and it'll start making them turn. The rings are turning. Come back down. All right, so this little puzzle here is you have to match up the pitcher that's on this uh, gate here. Uh, so you'll notice that I'm gonna put the axe. You'll notice that they have these things here. So you just have to make sure it matches up with the lettering here. So as soon as it does, recall it back. I think that part's right. There we go. And then we just have the last one to do here. I mean, there's three things you could do, but really you only need, need to use two in order to complete this. I think that's it. There we go. That's it. I see runes. Boy, what do those runes say? Oh, it says family. That's not a clue. It's the answer. What I alone can never be. Right? Use your knife and trace the runes into the sand. Really? Kinslow. Hmm. Something happened. 